ناؤ کمز اے ویری امپورٹنٹ آئی آف دس سورا اینڈ دس از گوئنگ ٹو بی دی کی ورڈ اینڈ کی تھیم آف دس سورا اف امن کان آلا بینت مر ربی و یتلو ہو شاہد من ہو سو دی پرسن ہو واز آلریڈی آن اے سیلف ایویڈنٹ ٹروتھ فرام از لارڈ اینڈ دین فالوز ہم اے وٹنس فرام ہم وٹ ڈز اٹ مین ایز آئی ٹول یو ہیومن نیچر it contains all the iman and all the facts in potential potentially it has it is there love of god is there the the soul which was breathed into us by za sawaitu wa nafaktu fi bi ruhi this ruh it is from allah subhanahu wa taala so it has all the things just like you know a seed contains the whole of plant where from does the plant come from that seed potentially the whole plant the whole tree is present in that nut or seed in the same way in human nature there is bayyana if the nature is not perverted if it is a healthy nature pure nature pure human nature it is bayyana within you now when the revelation comes it is a witness it testifies that whatever you have in your heart is correct dekhna taqreer ki lazzat ke jo usne kaha maine ye jana ki goya yahi mere dil mein hai and this is what hafiz ibn qayyim rahimahullah has said in one of his articles that there are some people who will read quran they feel that they are not reading quran from the mushaf from this book they feel this quran is written on their hearts and they are reading reading it from there because there's complete harmony between the human nature and what quran is saying so actually this quran testifies that whatever human nature is saying is correct you may say that human nature and soul testifies that whatever quran is saying is correct so this is a mutual testimony mutual harmony between the two so if there was a person who had a pure nature now just imagine abu bakr radhiyallahu ta'ala pure of nature tender hearted a muttaqi person god fearing person and you know he was very kind to people and he was of the sound intellect he never worshiped any idols even before when he started coming to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was a muwahhid from the very beginning so he is the person he was the person in the same way muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was such a person but i am not mentioning muhammad because he was a, a prophet and prophet is by birth a prophet so i am mentioning hazrat abu bakr or hazrat usman ibn mazrun there was another person who died before the revelation started coming to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he was zaid his son you know said ibn zaid is one of the 10 up top most sahaba ashra e mubashshara said ibn zaid who was the brother in law of hazrat umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu and iman came to said ibn zaid and his wife fatima bint khattab before it came to umar ibn khattab rather it came to umar ibn khattab through them and actually why because said was son of zaid and zaid was also one of such such persons a very kind hearted very pure natured person who used to say holding you know the curtains of kaaba oh allah i want to worship you and you alone but i don't know how to worship you now had the revelation to muhammad started in his lifetime he would have been the siddiq one of the siddiqs so this is the nature human nature the testimony quran testifies to the human nature af man kana ala bayyinatin mir rabbi wa yatluhu shahidu minhu now when revelation is coming it is actually witness that whatever you have in your the self evident truth that you have in your souls actually it is correct and that is how we can understand when revelation came to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam how did he recognize it is revelation how did he recognize that this is an angel not an evil spirit he could have any thought doubt maybe he is a he is satan maybe he is sub jinn he has come to you know lead me astray no his nature recognized 
so in no man is not blind by nature he has that you know the sight also and you know the the intellect also the soul of man afaman kana ala bayyinati mir rabbi wa yatluhu shahidun minhu min qablihi kitab musa and this quran has come as a witness now and before this quran there was the book of moses imam wa rahmah this was also guidance and mercy ulaika yu'minuna bihi such people will come to believe in this book because they are pure of nature they will have no difficulty in recognizing the truth of this book and the truthfulness of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa man yakfur bihi min al ahzab and whosoever rejects it from among all the groups and factions because there were the idolaters there were the jews and christians min al ahzab fanaru mu'iduhu so fire is the place of their promise fala taku fi bariyatin minhu and you should not be in any doubt about that innahu al haqq bir rabbika and this is the truth from your lord walakin aksar an-nas la yu'minun but you know most of the people are not going to believe وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ افْتَرَى عَلَى اللَّهِ كَذِبًا And who is more evil doer than the person who concocts or forges something and then attributes it to Allah. This is the biggest crime. This is the biggest lie. If I am not a prophet and I say I am a prophet, this is the biggest lie. You are lying on Allah. And some people is lying something about humans, about men. but he is you know attributing that thing to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a false thing so this is the biggest scam ulaika yo razun ala rabbihim they will be presented before their lord whosoever does this crime wa yaqul al ashadu haula alladhina kadabu ala rabbihim and then the witnesses will say these are the people who forged this and they attributed it to their lord ala lanatullahi ala zalimin and behold the curse of allah will be on such evil doers Now, what is the essence of this ayah? Do you or can you imagine for even a single moment that Muhammad can do it? Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You have known him. He has lived with you for forty years, and if it is being revealed in the tenth year after the beginning of Wahi, for fifty years you know him. Did he ever tell a lie? If he didn't tell a lie, in the matters of this world. small disputes if he didn't attribute any false thing to any human how could you expect that he would attribute something false to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because this is the biggest crime wa man azlamu mimman iftara ala allah kadhiban ulaika yuraduna ala rabbihim wa yaqulu ashadu haula alladhina kadhabu ala rabbihim ala la'natu allah ala zalimin alladhina yasudduna an sabilillah those all i mean those over the evil doers who are obstructing people who are holding back themselves from the path of allah and obstructing others preventing others from going towards the path of allah i told you sadda ya suddo has both the meanings hold back yourself and you prevent others they abuna hai waja they want to find in it crookedness wa hum bil akhirati hum kafirun and the real cause is that they don't believe in the hereafter that is actually the root cause of all their their ills ulaika lam yakunu mujizina fil lard these people are not going to be able to frustrate allah subhanahu wa taala defeat him in the land or the earth wama kana lahum min dunillahi min awliya and there will not be for them besides allah any protectors yuzafu lahum al azab the chastisement will be doubled for them ma kanu yastati'un as-sam'a wa ma kanu yubsirun they were not able to hear and they were not seeing because the real human being within them had died their souls had died now they were like you know just moving graves nothing of that sort moving mausoleums ulaika alladhina khasiru anfusahum wa dalla anhum ma kanu yaftarun they are the people who have ruined themselves who have put themselves in the loss wadalla anhum ma kanu yaftarun and whatever they are concocting and whatever they are forging that these are going to help us and they will be our intercessors 
دے ول آل دس اپیئر اینڈ ویرش لا جرم دس نو ڈاؤٹ انہو فی الاخرت ہم الاخرون دیٹ ان دی ہیر افٹر دے ول بی دی گریٹسٹ ان لوزنگ دی بگیسٹ لوزرز دی گریٹسٹ لوزرز ول بی دیم ان الذين امنوا وعملوا الصالحات واخبطوا الى ربهم as for those who believe and do good deeds and they are humble to their lords humble before their rabb ulaika ashabul jannah they are the people of garden hum fiha khalidun and they will dwell in it forever masalul fariqain kalama wal asam wal basir wal sami now these two groups the similitude of these two groups is like the similitude of those who are blind and deaf and on the other hand there are people who are seeing and hearing those who believe they are the people who are seeing and hearing those who are those who are rejecting and denying and belying this truth they are like the deaf and the dumb blind and deaf hal yastawiyan masala are they equal are they similar in this similitude afala tazakkarun so don't you get reminded and admonished 